Hello everybody, welcome back to Ajdet DWF Repair Bench. This time we have a 1541 2. Um, and it is quite abused, this, uh, this, this one. You see it uh, has some holes here, here, and another two on the rear. It has a missing power supply, so I will adapt something. Uh, but first of all, let's open it, have a good look inside, uh, clean everything, the head must, and the rails uh, of the head movements and everything. So I opened it and separated the mechanics from the other part, it uh, requires to unscrew for for screws uh, holding the mechanics, removing the three connectors. Uh, pay attention on uh, the way they are inserted because um, failing to put uh, uh, in the right position on the head connector would probably mean the end of the rip right head. Then clean the head with the isopropyl alcohol. And clean the rails, both rails. Um, and just also put a drop of oil in both of the rails, just in case. Then clean the PCB. And next step is of uh, making a power supply for this one. Power requirements for the 5041 2 is slab damaged but it is 12 volt DC at 0 0.5 ampere and 5 volt DC at something 0 point something which means anything that can uh, supply 1 ampere or more at 5 volt and 1 ampere or more at 12 volt DC it's perfectly fine then we will find the proper connector look up on the internet the pinout for this connector and connect our new power supply here I think I will uh, get an old DVD player with uh, and remove the internal uh, power supply which we have for sure both 5 volts and 12 volts output or find a, a, a portable power supply from another device we'll see what I find in my junk boxes okay so I found this one uh, and opened it and um, checked the and substitute the capacitors to make sure it won't fail uh, very early at least and it has uh, 5 volts at 2 amperes and 12 volts at uh, 2 amperes too so it's plenty of headroom to power the 1541 2 uh, cut the original connector which was useless um, just check it on the, the actual voltage on the uh, on the wires, never assume anything about the colors. So I found the yellow to be ground, uh, red to be plus five, and the white to be plus twelve. So I will uh, solder a uh, connector compatible with the 1541 power input and try what happens. An important thing uh, I do while soldering the wires to the connector to double check I have the correct pinout I just check continuity this should be the 5 volts so this one with the power on and of course uh, no power supplied by the power supply this is just disconnected uh, measure continuity between uh, the 5 volts I have to find uh, continuity to the VCC of the 
74 or less chips for example on, uh, on this pin which is the highest uh, count pin on the 74 LS then check the ground uh, to this pin uh, always in the, this should be the ground on every TTLC chip and so uh, I just double check the schematic of the connector to be sure I'm not going to damage uh, the drive with the correct uh, the incorrect pain out which would result in uh, much troubles uh, and, uh, and faults now connected everything the power supply is on and let's try to power on looks good so far so good so now it's time to connect the c64 and see what happens okay looks like it was not so easy it remains hung nothing happens well i think it's something stuck on the serial bus so we'll uh, will make the usual troubleshooting procedures and see so this is the schematic of the 1541 2 and also we have to check the signal with nothing connected uh, ATM clock and data so ATM goes via a pull up resistor to pin 13 of TLS 86 U11 then we have a clock going to pin 13 of U9 and 12 of U7 which is the output and uh, data going to several pin of uh, U9 and U7 so let's check what happens in the actual board so on the actual board on pin 13 of the LS86 with nothing connected should be one it's stuck to ground so I think this is the first problem and I will change uh, this LS86 uh, and see what happens so substituted that uh, 74 less 86 put everything together well, without screws and so on just because I don't know yet uh, let's, try, let's try what much better this yeah yes looks like it's going to work again so as usual I will try to run some tests from the demo put everything together and see if it's okay now well looks like uh, it's not yet uh, functional at 100% uh, try to write or format disks they always give me write protect on even uh, if I use uh, not shut disks, so yes, it's something on the sensor, the right product sensor that should be debugged. So the right product um, sensor is composed of two parts. This one on the underside of the mechanics is a, an infrared LED, and on the other side uh, the there is a photodiode or phototransistor so when the light uh, is interrupted uh, it means the right protection is on and when the light uh, can pass uh, the disk can be written too so the first thing to check is uh, if LED works if it works we will find uh, 1 to 1.1 volts between the two pins but with the 
normal video camera if we make uh, if we turn off the ambient light and turn on the drive okay you see it's glowing the light the LED is glowing because the video camera is sensible also to infrared so this LED works now I turn it off and turn on again the ambient light so let's see on the other side the photodiode okay next step is to remove this little board which is the photodiode and verify that the light shines through this little hole which I did verify that uh, this uh, plastic spacer is in place and let the uh, photodiode sit in, uh, in the correct position and then to verify the correct uh, um, function of the photodiode I will desolder the uh, orange wire the other one should be just connected to, to ground and we will measure if the photodiode is working once uh, with the solder the orange wire okay, would you believe this uh, I'm composing the final video in this moment and I just forgot to show the video about measuring the current with the orange wire disconnected and basically um, if you disconnect the orange wire you measure the current flowing from the orange wire to the point where it's soldered and you have to find with the power don't drive and uh, nothing blocking the light you have to find at least uh, 0 0.2 milliamperes quite something more actually and with the original sensor it I was measuring only six microamperes which is way too low uh, to produce a right logic level so I decided to change the original photo diet so I can continue with the other videos now sorry for that okay I found a replacement diode which uh, sits in the right place I verified with the multimeter that with the unit power on there is continuity in the right direction with this diode I uh, removed the photodiode from an old wheel mouse I mean uh, ball mouse this is the missing one the only problem is that it has two short legs but I will cut uh, the original one at the right place and solder this one in place of the original one legs and see if it fixes the problem okay replace the, the photodiode uh, cut the original one mark the position then as you can see soldered to the old legs so let's reassemble again and see if it works okay so I soldered the new photodiode and reconnected everything now with the uh, drive powered on and no disk inserted we should find a low voltage in this point on the orange wire and in fact there is 100 and something millivolts which is okay if instead we insert a floppy uh, not reaching the notch just to shadow the, the LED we should find 5 volts so just verify okay I inserted uh, partially a floppy disk and let's verify 
the voltage on the orange wire and which is 4.9 which is 5 volts so it's high so the sensor is working again and now let's try to write the disk again and see if it works so now it's formatting so let's see what happens since executing all tests, writing various disks, running demos uh, hopefully it should be working now ok I'm running uh, demos uh, with this drive uh, and everything looks fine so far and in the meantime I will uh, also try to repair these uh, holes that have been uh, uh, made on the top case I will mix uh, some uh, epoxy with um, dust or uh, I mean dust made from uh, plastic uh, with more or less the same color of the original cover and try to fill the holes with the uh, epoxy and uh, and plastic uh, mix then the dry would be uh, closed and <laughs> probably I will uh, try to sell it because I have too many drives by now thank you for watching